Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting into my updated SLG collection. Now if you don't know, SLG means small leather goods. So these are things like wallets and pouches and like small leather items from luxury designer brands. In contrast to my large handbag collection, my SLG collection is quite small. It's not one that I intend to really update every single year, but I finally feel like I sold some on and I changed some things around and I'm very happy with my collection now. So I feel like the one that I'm gonna show you now is pretty much gonna be my SLG collection for a really long time. I don't see myself needing to buy anything new in terms of SLGs for quite a while so this is one where I can really say like this is my well-rounded collection that works for me. I want to go through each piece and tell you why I love it and why it works so well for me. Let's just get right into it. Start with wallets and card holders. I have one card holder in my collection. This is the Saint Laurent card holder. The color is India pink. I did buy this one pre-loved from Fashion File so I got a little bit of a discount, not much. This was in my last SLG collection video which I will pop up here in case you want to see like how my collection has changed over time but this one is just so good I feel like the YSL card holders are at a really good price point in comparison to like Chanel or a lot of other high-end brands so this is one that I really do recommend picking up the leather is super durable it fits enough cards for me and this is perfect for my teeny tiny bag next two I'm going to talk about together because they're kind of duplicates but there's a reason why I've kept both so I have my Givenchy wallet, which you would have seen in the last collection video, tri-fold style, so it opens up like this. And towards the end of 2020, I ended up adding this Louis Vuitton limited Christmas edition to my collection. It's a zipper wallet, and it's so tiny and compact. The reason I went for this is because I did get the mini pochette with this style and I thought it would be nice to have matching. Also because this is a slim enough wallet that it goes in most of my mini bags that by switching from this, because once you put stuff in here it gets a bit fatter, this one kind of compresses everything in because it's just that zip style. There's not much room to bulge out that this can go in most of my bags so I actually have to switch to my card holder less now that I have this wallet. I've kept this one only because it's so well loved, I don't think selling it on really makes much sense because I wouldn't get much for it. And also it does match my Antigona, a nice backup wallet to have. And if I do find myself in a trend where I'm mostly using large bags, I would probably switch back to this because it's a little more convenient for cash. This one with the zipper. It has, all, it has all my stuff in it, but it has card holders on the sides, card holders in the middle, and then I put cash and receipts here. So as you can see, it's gotten a little messy. It's one of those that works, but it's just not as organized as this one. This one, because it has this pouch for the cash, it's a little easier. And then you have this organization for the coins on the back. So it's definitely one I wanna keep around because it's a very functional wallet, but I'm not one to switch wallets unless I have to. I kind of like to just take my wallet from bag to bag and then I have the one card holder for the incredibly small bags that I have in my collection that just cannot fit this wallet at all. So mainly this is my daily use wallet and this is just now my backup wallet. I'll move on to the mini pochette. Now I have changed this quite a bit. I think in the last video I either had my plain one or I had the Christmas one from 2019. Both I have sold on because I got the plain one knowing that I wanted a printed one and then I still wasn't happy with the color of the printed one that I got my hands on. So when I got my hands on this one, I sold the other one on and now I'm very happy. Like this is my canvas mini pochette in my collection. This is the Christmas animation from 2020. It has a pink lining, it's shoved with all my stuff. I did do a video on what I keep in this, so I'll pop that up here in case you wanna check it out. This is a day-to-day -day functional item for me. Whenever I'm carrying my medium to large bags, this is like my catch-all that has a ton of stuff in it that just helps my day function. When I'm not using my tiny bags and I just pared down my things to the bare essentials, this has the things that I like to have with me on a day-to-day -day basis, so it really works well for my bigger bags. And this just goes bag to bag. So this is pretty much stuffed with my stuff and it just stays that way. The next item is another mini pochette. And now I feel my mini pochette collection is very well rounded and pretty much complete. The only reason I went for this is because it was most dreamy pink. And this is one I think I would actually use as a mini bag as well. Well, I have used it as a mini bag already. I really like this one because it's all pink. Even the lining inside is pink as well. This one doesn't have stuff stuffed in it so I can show you the inside. I really like that they've done this leather detail on the zipper. 
This was pricier. This is the leather and it's a limited edition, but this is one that I can see myself using more so as like a little bag to go out. Also in some of my bags have lighter color linings. I could switch to this. I really feel like this is a good addition to my collection and really functions in different ways than my other mini pochette. This one is more of like a statement piece I can actually use outside of the bag and the other one is my like day-to-day -day catch all that I use inside my bag. Next I want to get into some pouches and first I have the Kiragami pouch set. So this one comes with a big pouch, a medium one, and a small one inside. So I'll just show you each one. This is the largest one. It's just flat. These are super flexible and squishy. It's lined in the leather. The outside is a coated canvas. They fit inside each other for very easy storage when you're not using them. This is the medium one. It's the blue color. This is from the Escal collection from 2020. This is one that I was very lucky to get my hands on. I have been looking at the Kiragami pouches for a while. And I really loved this one because even the red piece has pink on it, which you guys know I'm not a huge red fan. But since it has the pink, I end up using it. These pouches are great for organization. This one is also really nice to use as a card holder. I tend to use these mostly when I use my Neverfull or my On The Go, and I just want to keep everything organized. You can also use this larger one as a clutch, which I think is really beautiful for summer. It has just the large logo on the back, so it's nice to carry it like this or with this out. And it just looks like really clean and simple, and it holds enough and it's not too bulky, that it really works as either a bag or an organizational piece. I'm not one who ever keeps really a full makeup bag with me. If I do, it's just usually like a few bits and bobs. So these also work in case I wanna throw a little bit of extra makeup than what I'm used to keeping with me in my bag. They're just great to keep everything neat and organized inside my bags. And I find a lot of uses for them. You can also add, like if you have an external chain, you can add it through the flap of this and turn it into like a little crossbody bag. Same with the small ones as well. In case you want that micro look, but you don't want to buy a micro bag, this set is a really nice option because you could run a chain through the flap of this as well and wear it as a teeny, teeny, tiny bag. Even though I'm not a huge fan of designer toiletry pouches, I really think that this is a multifunctional kind of set that you could kind of use in that way or use in different ways as well. The next two pouches I want to mention actually came with bags that I purchased, but I wanted to mention these because on resale sites, sometimes people sell these just as is. So in case you're looking for just the pouch, it kind of works out that way. You could get it that way. I have the pouch from my Escal Neverfull. It's kind of this beautiful tie-dye with a little monogram logo. This strap is removable, but it's nice like you can carry it like this. I think these are super functional. I don't really know why people sell these off from their Neverfulls because for me, I keep all my essentials in here and if I've got, you know, a ton of stuff in my Neverfull and I just wanna run somewhere and pay for something quick, I can pull this out and take it with me. So if you are looking for just this kind of really functional little pouch and you want like a little bit of Louis Vuitton but you don't wanna buy the whole Neverfull, you can look on websites like Fashion File and you'll see people selling these pouches separately. A nice big size, you can fit your phone in here. And with this little strap, it makes it easy just to wrap around your wrist and take around as a bag. So this is one that I highly recommend that if you don't want the full Neverfull, this is a great pouch that can be multi-purpose. Next one I have is the pouch from my Towel Beach bag and pouch set that I got from Chanel and this one is in the same like terry cloth kind of material that the beach bag is in and it has like a lining inside now the stripes in here is a little Sephora free bag that came with like a purchase and I put that inside of here to protect the lining so if I'm gonna carry makeup or I put my sunscreen in here when I go to the beach I put it inside the Sephora bag and zip it and then zip it inside of here I know not everyone's gonna to want to do that but in case you want to protect your pouch that's what I do and I feel like that's gonna help it last over time and the insides not gonna get gross in case I do want to use this you know just as a makeup bag again I love that it has the little thing that you can just kind of take out and use as a wristlet and you know go pop into a store pay for something whatever you need to do and this is another one that I do see on pre-love websites that people have sold off from their sets I also think that Chanel makes pouches in around this size as well They're usually made of leather 
But in case you're looking for this kind of toweled material, keep an eye out for pre-loved sites because that's a great way to find them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this updated collection. Do you enjoy keeping your SLGs like smaller and more minimal or do you like to have a lot of SLGs? I know people are usually either in like one camp or the other and I'm definitely in the trying to keep mine as minimal as possible. I just feel like they're functional items and with the prices of a lot of SLGs now, you could save that money and put it towards a bag rather than, you know, having like tons and tons of card holders and wallets. But I know some people like to collect it or like to get them in a lot of colors. Let me know which side you're on in the comments below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see how I style my bags and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.